Hi, I'm Dominique. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate it. I am stressed and I am emotional, so I'm just going to get straight to it. Don't use, you know, alcohol as a crutch, all of this stuff, you know, whatever. But tonight, just shh, 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 uh, don't want to hear nothing. Tonight, we have Choco Vine Pleasantly Sinful Finest Blend of Red Wine and Dutch Chocolate. Product of Holland. Is that Holland? Product of Holland imported 14% alcohol. Wow. I'd be so amazed when I realize the percentage of alcohol in these because I don't really check that when I'm at the store. This is Choco Vine Pleasantly Sinful Silky Smooth. This blend of Dutch chocolate and fine red wine is delicious on its own or complimenting a cocktail. Fine red wine is delicious on its own or complimenting a cocktail. But isn't this a cocktail? I don't know. Grape wine with dairy cream, natural and artificial flavors, carmine extract, certified color, and caramel color. Pregnant women shouldn't drink, yada yada yada. Um, don't operate a motor vehicle, machinery, blah blah blah. Best served chilled within six hours of opening. Shake well and do not mix with acidic drinks. Okay, so this recommendation is from Shabria. She has her own YouTube channel. She has her own blog. I'll list everything down below in the description box so you can go follow her, her Instagram and all of that. She said I should try chocolate wine a while ago. Um, I have been seeing this one too, but I just really don't care for... I guess chocolate and wine or coffee and liquor like uh what's that coffee Bailey's like Bailey's cream like I just don't care for it I had a buttery nipple drink one time and that was disgusting like I don't know what my friend was talking about oh it's good I had one before no trifling okay like no if you ever have a buttery nipple I told you so chocolate wine red wine and dutch chocolate i don't know about this i really don't know i want to get this shaking up as best as i can i'm not uh, i don't know about this and i talked to my other friend chanette happy birthday chanette even though it was a couple days ago this video is just now getting posted. Happy birthday. I was telling her about the upcoming videos I was doing. And I was telling her that second week of February was going to be chocolate wine. And she was like so against it. She was completely against it. She said it's disgusting. Let's see. It almost smells like chocolate covered cherries or strawberries. It really just smells like straight chocolate milk. I like it. At first when it was hitting my taste buds, I'm like, mm, I don't know. But this is good. It's thick. I don't need a lot because honestly, I'm not supposed to be drinking right now. This whole endomorph lifestyle. I'm just testing it out because it kind of makes sense that I'm endomorph, but whatever. That's a whole nother lifestyle, fitness, health video. And this is 14% alcohol. I know that's a lot of calories. I just know. Okay, so anyway, it's thick. My glass is spotty. Sorry. It's thick, like almost like a syrup. I wouldn't even say like milk. It's like a thick, almost like a caramel type of consistency like not when it's like hardening hardening hardened but like when it's kind of soluble movable when it's fresh when it, it you know what i'm trying to say so look i had a long day don't judge me yeah it's thick it smells like chocolate covered cherries it's literally red wine and chocolate. Let 
That's good. Mmm. The initial taste is chocolate. The aftertaste is red wine. And then the after aftertaste is just pure alcohol. I mean, 14% is... It's not the highest, it's not the lowest, but I mean, that's a good percentage for some wine, especially like chocolate flavored wine, in my opinion. This one and another Choco Vine and another chocolate flavored wine were literally the only two that were on like display. And I would think they would have more like holiday Valentine's type of, you know, wines on display, but they really didn't. And I think this one was $14.99. Um, they have an iced chocolate wine. I might have to get that one. Because I didn't have high hopes for this at all. I really, really didn't have high hopes for this. And I'm getting a little buzzed. Everybody, you start drinking your tongue, feel like it's too big for your mouth. Some of the reviews on here, they was, it was really mixed. Like, one lady said, where was it? Because it was kind of brutal. This leaves a lot to the imagination. And then everybody else was like, this is so good, it's so yummy, it's very chocolatey, I'll buy it again. You know, it was mixed reviews. But this is $8.49. It's good. That first taste is nothing but chocolate. And then afterwards, just straight liquor, like straight wine. I like this, I will get it again. This is perfect for, you know, Valentine's Day. I can't wait till my chocolate covered turtles come in. I'm gonna have a glass of this and my turtles. And that might just be a whole mood by itself. But this red wine, chocolate flavored red wine is definitely a go. I would suggest this. Choco Vine Pleasantly Sinful wine is really good. I didn't have high hopes for this. I really did not. I'm telling you right now. That's why I kept passing this up. I've been seeing this. Just like I've been seeing Seven Daughters. I was more open to trying Seven Daughters than I was chocolate flavored wine. But this is good. I like this. I would definitely get this again. And they have different. Um, it looks like they have different ones. Ooh. They have a chocolate and raspberry. If you're a raspberry fan, you might like that. Personally, I don't care for raspberry like that. Um, I don't care for a lot of the berries, but I'm open to trying it. What other one do they have? Ooh, Dutch, ooh, Dutch dark chocolate. Now that's probably real good. I might have to look that one up. Dutch dark chocolate. They also have chocolate and whipped cream. I'm gonna find that one. I'm gonna find that one. That one was $13.95. And that's a total wines and more. $14.95. That looks good. Hmm. By Three Lakes Winery. By Three Lakes Winery. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna find that one. Chocolate and whipped cream. That sounds good. Oh, I just got excited. Chocolate and whipped cream. Okay, guys, so let me paint the mood for you. Valentine's Day 2020. Valentine's Day falls on a Friday. Do all type of stuff all day, all weekend. The weekend's yours, even though you should love each other every day and appreciate each other, yada, yada, yada. So, anyway, chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate covered cherries, um, turtles. Some people like chocolate covered marshmallows. I never went down that aisle. Don't know about that. But your drink of choice. Choco Vine Pleasantly Simple Red Wine and Dutch Chocolate. And if you can get your hands on the Choco Vine Chocolate and Whipped Cream Wine, uh, I'm, you can thank me later. Okay? Name the kid after me. I'd appreciate it. I have a unisex type of name. If it's girl, Dominique. If it's a boy, Dominique. Period. Like, just thank me later. Thank you later. 
I'm gonna start rating the wines that I try. So I can't do five. Five is just too complicated. So out of the three stars, I'm gonna give this a. I'm not even doing halves and dots and points. No, I can't because I'm no I'm too complicated. I'm gonna say my hands dry. I'm gonna say this is a 2.75. Just because once that chocolate flavor hits, it's like a rush of red wine alcohol and it's strong. It's pretty strong. So if you are the type of person that likes chocolate, likes red wine, you would like this. If you like Dutch chocolate, you would definitely like this. If you like those rich, not like... No, some chocolate just tastes super artificial, like off first bite. That's not this. This tastes like good, pure chocolate. Like, I don't know how else to say that. Like, quality chocolate and quality red wine. Now, if you're someone who likes red wine but doesn't like the super strong, bold red wines, then this might kind of throw you off along with the chocolate. I still think it's worth a try because it's under $10. I'm glad I did. I'm glad Shabria mentioned this one or just chocolate wine in general because I would have kept passing this up because I did not have high hopes for this at all. I was extremely skeptical because chocolate and red wine combined in a bottle in liquid form just does not, my brain couldn't comprehend it. Like it just didn't sound good at all. But this is really good. I like the little design with the heart and the red wine well the heart made of chocolate and red wine that's cute it's clever it's simple so yeah i definitely will be looking out for the chocolate and whipped cream version i definitely gotta get my hands on that one that one probably is gonna be better than this one hmm it sounds like a series again like always please leave me recommendations down below and i'll try to find them if i can